Welcome back to the Bellow Phone channel. Now in my previous video called uh, Last Bit Done, I showed you how these uh, two bass horns sound. But of course the last bit is never done. So in a fit of country humor, I decided to take this second reed apart and uh, I'm going to replace the tongue, the little vibrating piece. And we'll go over here to my workbench and I'm going to show you how I do that. Now this is the reed with its boot here. And this is the old tongue which I'm going to replace. Here's the tracing of it on a piece of ten thousandths brass, or ten mils as we say. Thin piece of brass sheet. The reed body is made from a piece of copper pipe with a cap soldered on, and then the flat filed off and this plate of brass soldered down onto it, and the little opening filed into that. And this is called the shallot. Don't ask me why. Now this is made so that uh, the reed, the tongue I should say, screws down in here and it can slide in and out like that to adjust the pitch. Now this one's been in service for many years so it's gone flat. It's all the way to its sharpest position and it's still a little bit flat. So let's go ahead and make the new one. Now in this work it's very helpful to have your grandpa's old tailor shears from the New York Garment District back in the 30s. Um, Alright, but if you don't you'll just have to use something else. And we cut the thing out like so. This big shears is the best. I've got the piece cut out here. Come on, focus, can't you? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, and I'm going to take the file and just round off the contours and get it nice and smooth. Uh, now I'm going to file the, adjust, the adjustment slot into the tongue. It's a thin piece of brass, so it's important to keep it well supported so, so you don't uh, anyway, bend it. Trimming the burrs off here with a little razor knife. There. Now this tool is called a burnisher. It's kind of like a file. It's a very hard piece of metal, but it's got no teeth. It's polished smooth. And here is the reed tongue. It's flat. And the way I put a curve into it, there's a couple of different ways, but one way is to burnish it. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on here and I want to do both sides just to make sure all the burrs are off it. You want to put just, a, just enough curve on this thing to get it to sound good. Too much curve and it will take too much pressure to make it work. Too little curve and it'll lock up and it won't make any sound. It'll choke. Now I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this thing, which is not only curving it, but it's also hardening the brass and making it springier. Now, screw it down in here and we'll see how it sounds.
Well, there's your quick tutorial on how I make these reeds. Now, there's more to this project than these two horns here, and hopefully I will be uh, posting some more videos soon, so check back, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.